Having made his debut as one of the playable Vault Hunters in Borderlands 2, Axton hails from the planet of Hieronymus. He joined the Dahl military at a fairly young age. We know he spent a total of 10 years in it, and so considering he's 26 in the game itself, that would mean at the very least he joined when he was 16. He was very proficient in what he did, gaining a saber turret thanks to Dahl and rising up the ranks, eventually reaching the status of sergeant. He also presumably met, fell in love with, and married a woman by the name of Sarah who also just so happens to be his commanding officer. But despite how skilled Axton was, he did cause some slight trouble. He was a bit of a glory hog. He liked to do his job in unorthodox ways that weren't very representative of Dahl and its military. This led to numerous compromised missions and it all eventually led to a boiling point. His wife Sarah wound up divorcing and discharging him. Though this would lead to death by firing squad, she makes the unofficial suggestion that he go AWOL and try his luck on the nearby border planets. Axton, the rest of the battalion ships out to Themis tomorrow, and I don't want you with us. Not as a soldier, and not as a husband. What? What the hell, Sarah? Remember Hestius? Instead of protecting the dignitary assigned to your command, you put a tracker on him, gave him to the enemy, tracked them back to their base, and blew it up, with the dignitary still inside. Yeah, which was awesome. You can't pretend that wasn't awesome. Demophon, Thrace, Tantalus, you've consistently prioritized personal glory over following orders. I don't need a soldier like that. So what now? You're gonna turn me over to the firing squad? Unless they've changed the rules on me, I'm pretty sure Semper Five means forever. You are correct. At 0900 tomorrow, the MPs will escort you to the brig where you will await your execution. As your commanding officer, I cannot officially suggest you go AWOL tonight and try your luck on the border planets. Too bad. That would have been good advice. What's this? My wedding ring. You can keep it. I never liked diamonds. Ouch. He takes this advice and escapes to Pandora that night. A bounty is then put on him for five billion dollars. Alongside his trusty saber turret, Axton took up the profession of bounty hunting. What's that ring you're carrying, pretty boy? Oh, you got a wife? A pretty wife? Ex-wife. You ain't her type. She prefers men who have more brain cells than teeth. Oh, tell me where she's at. I'm gonna pay her a visit. Doubtful. She's on Themis with the rest of the battalion. <laughs> you got a sweet piece of ass waiting for you back home. What the hell are you doing on Pandora, Blad? Getting to know the friendly locals. <sighs> you know what I think? I think Soldier Boy's here to collect a bounty on us. And I think he got paid in advance. Ain't that right? Damn, you got me. Where is it, you slag? Where's the money? <sighs> Come on, guys. <clears throat> Don't hold it against me. I just wanted to turn you idiots in and have the town you stole the money from chant to my name. Is that too much to ask for? Oh. Okay. Evidently it is. Where's the bloody money? It's... It's in there. What? This little box thing? It's a storage deck unit. Just toss it on the ground and it'll... It'll open. Fine. <sighs> That was too easy. That ain't no storage deck! What the hell?! <laughs> Chew him up, turret! There you go, Sheriff. Those are the guys who robbed your bank last week. I accept cash. All right, here's your 10 thou. The warrant says 20,000. The warrant also specified alive. Fair enough. The hell are you looking so sad for? You're still making more money than anyone around here will see in six months. Ah, it's not the money. It was just... easy, you know? Too easy. What's the matter? You didn't get enough glory in the military? Oh, uh, there was plenty of glory. Just the kind that winds you up on this hellhole of a planet. It put money in his pocket just fine, but he's more of a glory seeker. Angel picks him up as one of the potential Vault Hunter candidates, and so Jack puts out an ad that caters to this part of him. He puts down his current job for that of a Vault Hunter. 9,000, 10,000. There you go. Thanks. Got any other morons you need brought in? Yeah, we got the Stoke Brothers, uh, Grandma Lopez. Are you hungry for excitement? 
excitement, fame, eternal glory. Wait a minute, turn that up. The Hyperion Corporation needs your help to search for the lost alien vaults of Pandora. See the world, fight dangerous creatures, get rich beyond your wildest dreams. Become a vault hunter today. Huh. You, uh, you still want to hear the rest of the bounties? Nope. Sorry, Sheriff. I think I just found a new job. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm brilliant! Am I, am I brilliant? I'm brilliant! The radio advertisement was a very nice touch, sir. Thank you, Angel. Now do me a favor and put this Axton guy on the list, will ya? And this is where the events of Borderlands 2 take place. He boards the Hyperion train where he meets Salvador, Maya, Zero, Krieg, and Gage, where they're all almost killed by Handsome Jack's trap. Together, they all join the Crimson Raiders, stop the Destroyer, and kill Handsome Jack. He would take part in the other DLCs as well as help Lilith with whatever missions he was sent to do. Both he and Gage were initially sent to hunt a vault on Epta, but during their mission, they wound up being tasked with the capture of Aurelia Hammerlock, as she was also in the vicinity. They were successful in this and drug her back to Sanctuary. Hello, Sanctuary! Guess who's back from hunting vaults on other planets? Did you miss us? And I'm the nerd? I mean, what's the deal here, you guys? First, Lilith is like, hunt the vault on Epta. And then she's like, don't kill the other vault hunters. Bring back the one chick you found. War is coming. Ooh, you brought back a new vault hunting buddy? I want to meet her. No, you don't. Aurelia is the meanest. What's all this about Athena and some guardian and war? Um, I'm Athena. I was relating to present company the story of how Jack rose to power. Also, it seems that he and Gage formed a pretty good relationship through their adventure as she also refers to him as an unparalleled stud. And this all leads to the Son of Cromorax DLC. When a bunch of assassins are sent to kill each of the main characters, each one is saved by a respective figure in their life. In Axton's case, his assassin was killed by his ex-wife Sarah, as she's still looking out for him just this once. Staff Sergeant Axton, first one's free, now you're on your own. Regards, Sarah. Huh. She still wants me. But like his fellow vault hunting squad, he eventually branched off to do his own thing. It seems the glory and spotlight he gained from taking down Handsome Jack allowed him to pursue an entirely different profession altogether. He went into the business of modeling. He found quite the success in this. He would appear on the cover of various magazines, and he even has a skin Moe's can equip on her Iron Bear mech. Also, he had merchandise like body pillows that came with an actual saber turret. Oh, hey, Maurice. I'm just trying to haul this life-size body pillow of my hero, Axton, back to my bunk, but uh, it's so heavy. Not sure why they included the turret. Even Maya wonders how his modeling career has been going. I wonder how Axton's modeling career's going. By the sounds of it, he seems to be doing quite good at it. Another fun fact is that Axton is actually bisexual. Initially, it was just a mistake in the coding that he had flirtatious dialogue, but it wasn't assigned to any specific character he would say it towards. So he just wound up saying it to everyone. But when the Assault on Dragon's Keep DLC came out, they cemented this fact. With the Sorcerer's Tower in sight, you think of what you're going to spend your reward money on once you rescue the Queen. Guns and ladies. And sometimes dudes. But for now, that does it for the history of Axton. Definitely a straightforward history compared to the other Vault Hunters. But who knows where he is now or when we'll see him again. If there are any other characters you'd like to see me do the history of, then be sure to let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.